per your request, we are doing yet another full face of Pat McGrath talking about some products that I love. In celebration of the Black Friday sale starting. Now, if you missed it, actually, literally like a couple weeks ago, I did a full face of Pat McGrath because she had a fall sale that was 30% off. And unfortunately, it only lasted like two days. It was site-wide with the exception of the new holiday collection. And so many of you guys picked up some things, but also a lot of you guys were like dang I missed it well here we are we have another sale and you guys were like make another Pat McGrath video so here we are if you're new here I love Pat McGrath I have a whole playlist on my channel with so many Pat McGrath videos at this point I just want my channel to be a reference for those looking for what they should get from Pat McGrath so I have another video today that we're gonna add for reference. So here's the Black Friday sale. It's starting now. This I'm imagining is actually going to last. It's not going to be for two days. I'm not behind the brand. I cannot confirm that, but I'm guessing this is going to last a while. So you probably have a little bit of time. So the Black Friday sale is 25% off if you spend $50. 30% off if you spend $150, and this one, 35% off if you spend $250. Arguably, this is not as good as the fall sale because there was no minimum for the 30% off, but if you're gonna spend a lot of money, $250, which is very easy to do at Pat McGrath, 35% off is the best deal you're gonna get other than products being discontinued, which, you know, sometimes if products don't sell well, they will be like a good 50 plus percent off. But in terms of the hot items, you're not going to get anything better than 35% off. So that's that. Now, there also was an early access link to a Black Friday sale. I do think another sale is coming for actual Black Friday. My prediction, don't hold me to it, but my prediction is it's going to be the $12 lip sale because the last couple of years, Pet McGrath has had a sale where you can get her lip products for $12. So I'm predicting that's going to be the actual Black Friday deal. So maybe if you make an order, buy like eyes and face and then maybe hold off on the lips. But also, I don't know. I know as much as you do. So keep that in mind. Anyways, why this sale is exciting is because I checked and the holiday collection is actually included in this sale. So if you've been holding off on the holiday collection, you can get it at a pretty good discount. So I'm going to use what I can from the holiday collection, but let's get started with the base. I have a lot of acne scarring going on, so let's let's start covering. So this part's going to be pretty repetitive just because Pat McGrath only has like one foundation, one primer, all of that. I'm starting off with the Sublime Perfection Primer right here. I'm going to link my video a couple weeks ago that I did. The palette that was kind of the star of the show was the Utopian Dream Palette because that sale was the first time that that palette was on sale. Um, and I used a lot of other great products that I might not use today. So it's definitely worth checking that one out as well. I don't really recommend this primer. I don't really like it. I've also seen this primer at 50% off before. I don't personally notice that it does anything. I have normal to dry skin. It's just kind of there. It's like an extra layer on my face, I feel like, when I use it. Now, we're going to go into the foundation next. So I use the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation in the shade LM9. This is my perfect shade. I love this shade. And last video, I actually didn't use my face brushes, so I thought I would use them. They're pretty good. I don't necessarily know that they're worth the price, but for 35% off, I think they're actually kind of worth it. If you're interested in Pat McGrath brushes, they definitely are not a need, especially if you have a very good brush collection, but I just happen to have them and I do like them. So I'm starting off with the foundation brush and we're just going to use this, spread the foundation out. And I'm very, very picky when it comes to foundation brushes. I'm a sponge girl through and through, and I do really like this foundation brush, which honestly says a lot because I don't like very many foundation brushes. Do I prefer this over a sponge? No, but I am not at all upset by using it in today's video. I don't feel like my foundation application is going to be compromised. And this brush was made for this foundation, so it really is the perfect density 
to spread the foundation out. It did, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that it did launch in the time that the foundation launched. And it's a liquidy foundation, so it's kind of runny. And I really do think that this brush was created specifically for this foundation because the density, the softness, it really is perfect for blending out this foundation. And I do think you get a little bit more coverage when you use a brush as opposed to a sponge. So this is just one light layer. It's a very skin-like foundation. I really like it. It's a very expensive foundation though. So 35% off if you can get that. I mean, I'm even like considering maybe I should get a backup because I do love this foundation. It's an ideal everyday foundation for me. It gives like a light medium coverage and it's buildable, not buildable to full, but you can build on extra layers for additional coverage. And I do love it. So that's why I'm like, mm, I really don't think I'll get a higher discount than 35% off. Cause you know, if I make an order, I'm going all out for that 35%. So, beautiful foundation, beautiful coverage. Let's move on to the concealer. If you're new here, hi, the Pat McGrath concealer is one of my all time favorite concealers. Definitely top three. I think it's phenomenal. I'm going to use the shade LM9 for my under eyes. Now, I also have this concealer brush. This brush is really unique, and if you need full coverage for concealer, this is going to be great. Again, I am a sponge person, but I love the shape of this concealer brush. I thought it was weird at first, but it really is such a great shape to get in this area right here. And if you have very dark under eyes, it's not going to take away any coverage like a sponge might do. You just press the concealer in and you're gonna get the most coverage really that the concealer can offer. There's nothing that's going to absorb the product. So it's really, really nice. You can see I got very, very full coverage with this. So I really don't use this concealer brush often, mostly because this has been in my dirty brush pile. Let me tell you, I have a pile of brushes that need washed. Guess how often I wash my brushes? Not very often. So this has been sitting there, hence why it hasn't been used. But I really do like this if I need some full, full coverage or for spot concealing which I'm about to show you in a second. Hmm. I forgot how much I liked this brush. This is a good brush. I'm going to use LM12, and I'm gonna use that to try and cover my acne scars and all the ickies I have going on right here. Actually, this one is a little bit dark for me right now. Normally, this would be my skin tone in the summer, so I'm gonna mix in a little bit of LM9 on top. This is great for a spot concealing because it's just gonna push the product in and not absorb any coverage. Honestly, I like this better for this purpose than the under eyes. It really holds in that coverage. I never used it like this before, but wow. It is perfect. See, all that is disappearing. Make sure you buff out the edges. This little guy came in handy today. I like this. Let's move on to powder. I'm going to use my all-time favorite powder. This is the Blurring Under Eye Powder. There is nothing, in my opinion, more blurring than this powder. It's so lightweight. It's perfect for the under eyes. I'm going to use this big powder brush by Pat McGrath. This is probably my least favorite of the three. I would definitely recommend the foundation brush and concealer brush over this. This is nothing special. It's not a special shape. It's just kind of a typical powder brush, if you ask me. So I'm using that to set my T zone. And I am using the shade light right now because my medium shade broke, but I'm considering if I place an order, a medium will be entering my cart because I do love it as an all over setting powder. Not Pat McGrath, but I'm quickly going to bronze my face. I'm just using my Tom Ford Terra Bronzer. I used a really big fat bronzer brush, so I do want to add a little bit of sculpting. So I'm going to use the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Setting Powder in the shade Light. So this is a loose powder. This, in my opinion, is not a need. I, I don't think there's anything really special about it compared to other products on the market. I don't think it's bad, uh, but I just have other powders that I personally prefer. So this isn't on my top list of recommendations. If you're gonna get a powder, you need that blurring under eye powder that I talked about. Since we have it, and since this is a Pat McGrath video, I'm just going to use it to clean up a little bit of the bronzer so that the face looks a wee bit more sculpted. You see how that cleaned up the bronzer? 
really pretty. So for eyes, I decided since this is the first time that you can get the holiday collection on sale, I'm going to see if I can use a combo of these palettes. We'll see what I come up with and I'll be right back. Okay, so the look that we're doing today, it's very different, it's kind of dramatic, but like I said, the Celestial Odyssey collection, the holiday collection, is on sale for the first time on the Pat McGrath website. And you can get all parts of 35% off. How many times can I remind you of that? There were three palettes that came out during this collection. So the first one is the Deep Space Divinity. This is my favorite of the two quads. I do recommend this one. It's going to be a little bit different than a lot of the other palettes that Pat has. But it's not super unique but it's my favorite of the two quads. The other quad that came out was Bronze Burialis. And this is one where I feel like if you collect Pat McGrath, you don't need this one. This one is like very Divine Rose-esque. And even when I was looking at my big Celestial Odyssey palette, I didn't feel the need to even have to dip into this quad to create a look because while there aren't dupes for this palette in the Celestial Odyssey palettes, there are shades that are from the same color family. So this one's the least unique. I do love it and it's a great everyday palette, but just be aware of that. So for the majority of the look today, we are gonna use this big guy over here, this is the Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey palette. This is where I felt the need to pull the most colors from. I have a lot of looks on my channel using this. I have a full-blown review and I have a three looks, one palette video on this. I do have a number of looks if you want more looks for reference. Some that are more wearable than the one that I'm wearing. But for the first shade we're gonna use, I actually decided to dig into Deep Space Divinity and we're gonna use this reddish shade right here. Ideally, I would have liked for this to be a little bit more red because you can see it almost has some purple to it but it's fine we made it work and you'll see how much pigment this shade has like bam I'm using an Olimar cosmetics crease brush I'm running this through starting at the inner half of the crease and then I'm just blending her out just like you see me doing right here blends out really beautifully I'm just gonna build it up a little bit more because I do want that color to pop through the one thing I will say about the Celestial Odyssey palette is I'm not the biggest fan of the mattes in there just because they're so neutral and boring so you really can't create that fun looks with it so i just dug into here for something a little bit more warm i'm also going to run this along the entire lower lash line and i'm just going to use a big fluffy blending brush because you can see it doesn't really even end up showing too much but this is the base right here so this is the only shade that i'm using from this quad so i'm going to put it over to the side but I do really like the quads in this collection, but they definitely get lost in the shadows of this guy. Okay, I'm using a Refer number one brush. We're going into the chocolate brown, which I swear has so much pigment, it's almost black. If you really want to build it up, like so much pigment. You can see the look kind of wings out, but I kind of want this covering the entire outer V and then some. So I'm really going to work on the blend. This look is kind of smoky, so don't be afraid to go a little heavy-handed with this step. Let me build up a little more. Going back into the first crease brush that I use to kind of get these edges up here. Okay, and then a magic trick. I'm going to go into my Pat McGrath concealer brush, and there's still leftover concealer. I'm going to use that to clean up and create the shape of the eyeshadow, just like that. And now we have that as a guide. Taking in the Sum V27, we're going into the lightest shimmer shade right here. I am going to apply this underneath the brow bone to add a little bit of glow. And I didn't do this on the other eye, so forgot to, but we're going to put it right here. I'm going to kind of force it in <laughs> the other eye that I forgot to put it down. Honestly, if you wanted to put like a pink shadow all over the eye, you'd have a gorgeous wearable look. Obviously, we didn't go in that direction though. This brush, amazing for the faux cut crease I'm about to do. This is a refer number 28 brush and I did see they were having like 50% off site wide for Black Friday. So maybe consider this brush because it's gonna do an amazing job of picking up this orange shade right here. And also the quality of this shadow applies on the lid like butter. So watch this. A faux cut crease means I'm not going to put down any concealer but I'm gonna create this shape of a cut crease and between the combination of the quality of this shadow which you can see applies like butter 
and the brush itself, which is very precise and picks up a good amount of product, we're gonna create a faux cut crease. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's fake. And I'm focusing the color around the top of where the cut crease would be, and then get it in that inner third of the lid. So leaving a space for some gold right here. We really want that intensity to be up along the crease and in the inner corner. So why this brush works so great for that technique is because it's so thin that it really allows you to create precision there. And because of the bristles, it picks up a good amount of product. The Sonia G Builder Brush, we're going into the gold right here. Another super buttery, gorgeous shade. And I'm just applying this right to the center lower part of my eyelid. I don't want it to cross paths with the upper crease right here. So we're just keeping it towards the center of the eyelid. And you can bring it out a little bit, but don't go too high with the gold, especially if you have hooded eyelids, just be careful of that, just like that. So you see that golden pop in the middle. And here is where the magic happens. I'm just gonna take a random Morphe brush. We're going into this black glittery shade. Just because black and glitter is a recipe for disaster, I'm gonna use a piece of toilet paper. Get some on a shader brush, and I'm going to almost put this like a really thick wing. So it's not a liner, but it's gonna stay on the outer edges of the eye, or typically you probably like to define. Think a winged liner, but a lot more messy. So just like that, that's our first application. I'm gonna take a small Olimar Cosmetics blending brush. We're going to blend it to create a smoky effect. So I wasn't looking for any sort of precision there because I did want to blow it out, as you can see. And I do think we're gonna need a little bit more black. Now the reason I'm going in with a shader brush over a blender brush is because the shade would be a mess if you just went in straight with a blending brush. Black powder everywhere, glitter everywhere. So I just like to pat it down first on the eyelid and then go in with that blending brush to work it out. So that way it's less mess. And then work on blending the gold and the orange into the black. Feel free to go back in with a little bit more gold and a little bit more orange to make a seamless transition with the black. And again, I'm gonna clean out the edges. I'm gonna get the black shade on the tip of my shader brush. A little bit of toilet paper down just in case. And this I basically want to line the whole lower lash line. I did put that first crease color down to peek through because just having black could be a little intense. So I still like that intense blackness underneath, but you can see a little bit of the red popping through, and that's gonna help with the cohesion of the look. I love this palette because it's very versatile. You can get a very dramatic look like the one I did today. You have greens and blues and fun pops there, but you can also get a very neutral look with the browns and rose tones in here. So I think this palette is really genius because for the everyday consumer, it is so versatile. And I do believe this is limited edition. I don't know. I recommend this if you don't have it in your collection. I think it's a great start to Pat McGrath because you get a wide array of colors and formulas and it's the best value that you can probably get with this amount of shades. For eyeliner, Pat McGrath does have a liquid liner and I really love their liquid liner, but it does not last a long time so the lifespan of it just isn't good. I don't recommend ever paying full price for that liquid liner, but if you can get it on sale, you will really like it for as long as you're able to have it. It dries out, so I don't even have mine anymore and I just didn't want to repurchase it. But I do actually have the Permagel Glide On Eye Pencil, which I believe the black might be sold out. This has been selling out. It's a really good pencil liner. I'm going to line my waterline and my tight line, and then I think I think I'll try and get a nice thin line against my lash line. And then for mascara, you're not gonna see me use this today because I don't know where my Dark Star mascara is. I think I might have thrown it away, honestly, because it was getting kind of old. But Dark Star is not my favorite mascara. I absolutely love the Fetish Eyes mascara from Pat McGrath. This one is an unopened new one that I'm holding on to when I get through some of the other mascaras that I'm working through. So I'm finicky with mascaras. Don't like to have too many open at once. But if you are gonna get a Pat McGrath mascara, Fetish Eyes is my all time favorite. I have very short sparse lashes and that adds volume and length for me. It does flake a little bit, so if you're not into flaky mascaras, you probably won't like it, but the trade off for me is how good it makes my lashes last. So highly recommend Fetish Eyes mascara. Love it so much that I always have a backup, but just holding on to this for a bit. So let me quickly 
line and tight line my eyes. This is very black. It's really awesome. See how easily that just filled in the waterline? We get the tight line. Okay, and then I'm very carefully just get, trying to get a thin line across my lash line for some eyelashes. And you know what I just decided that I'm going to do while I'm here? I'm actually going to take that black glitter that I used, which is right here, and I'm going to line it as if it were liner across my upper lash line. I'm gonna try and be as careful as I can to not make a mess in my face, but I'm bringing out my trusty toilet paper to help me. <laughs> so I think this will be really cool along the upper lash line because it has some glitter in it. So I'm just going to use it to create some added smokiness. Let's see, you can see the glitter particles, which actually looks really cool. Okay, I'm happy I decided to do this, and I still would go in with that gel liner like I did just to create the black base, but this is going to help with longevity of the eyeliner, and I think the extra sparkles that are in the black create a really cool effect that goes perfectly with the eye look. Give it a try! I'm happy I decided to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna do mascara and lashes and we'll be back to finish the rest of the face and lips. As per usual, the lashes pulled the whole look together and then I'm like, oh, I love it! <laughs> I am using the Black Label Lashes in Brazen. They're beautiful for dramatic looks like this, especially with a smokier outer corner because the outer part of the lashes are longer. So let's move on to face. I snuck into my mom's bathroom and I stole this from her because I do have the blushes in here individually, but if you can get your hands on the Divine Blush and Glow Trio, the pans are small but nonetheless I think it's a good deal for getting three different formulas. So this is the lighter of the trios. This is the Galactic Sun and I love this trio because it has two of my favorite blushes from the line. My most used actually is Desert Orchid so I was excited she put this in here and then Divine Rose is just that classic rose color and they also have the Golden Nectar highlight in here which is Stunning. I'm not going to use it today because I do want to use the holiday highlighter, but Desert Orchid, my most used Pat McGrath blush, is going to be a perfect for today's look. So we're just going to pop this on, but I do highly recommend these trios from the collection just because I think they're a good deal nonetheless. I mean, I know not a ton of product, but I love getting multiple shades and it's really travel friendly as opposed to buying the individuals, which are a lot heavier. So I'm a palette person. Love this palette, so I did want to use it for you guys. But let's talk about this highlight that I'm about to be using. You guys have been asking me if it's worth it or not. I do not think it's worth $60. You shouldn't pay $60 for a highlight, but it's a bomb highlight. Okay, so this is the Sublime Skin Highlighter that came out in the Holiday Collection. It's in the shade Lunar Nude. I've been loving this and it hurts me because of the price. You couldn't get it on sale because they didn't have it at Sephora for the Sephora sale and this obviously didn't count for the last sale, but now it does. So now I'm telling you that this beautiful highlight is worth it. If you're into the luxury experience, I mean, we're getting nothing but luxury here with this embossing. And not to mention, it's a beautiful highlight. This is my favorite formula that Pat McGrath has come out with. It's just a lot more expensive as well. But let's show you. So I'm going to use a BK Beauty 108 brush. Look at that. Ugh. Just blends into the skin seamlessly. It is buildable, so you can get more of a natural kind of highlight if you want like this. Or you can build it up to be something more blinding for your more dramatic looks. You can make your own judgments, of course. But I love this highlight, and I think now is a good opportunity if you were thinking about it. I'm going to actually add a little extra glow to the eyes right here above the lip. I'm very, very happy with this highlight, and the more I've had it, the more I've grown to love it. So I'm excited to see the first opportunity that you're able to get a discount on this, and it's quite the gift, you know? Really luxurious. Let me have a drink of my coffee. I've been debating, do I want a dark lip? Do I want to use ground control lip liner? Or do I want to use Supernatural, which is a little bit lighter? I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to use ground control, which is a little bit darker around the center, and then Supernatural around the outside. Is that dumb? 
I don't know. But anyways, lip liners don't normally count as part of the $12 lip sale that might potentially be happening. So if you want to get a lip liner, I would get it during this sale. Favorite lip liner formula all time in terms of longevity and creaminess. The ratio is perfection. I talked about this in another video, but I love a waxy lip pencil. The Melt Cosmetics lip pencil that I recently tried, waxy, dreamy, precision, on point. But Pat McGrath has a creamier lip liner formula, but it lasts as long as those waxier ones. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of ground control, which is a deep, deep color. Not great for my skin tone, <laughs> very dark, but I'm gonna focus it on the outer part of my lower lip. And let's move to the other. Great. Now I'm gonna take Supernatural, and then I'm going to get the outer edges. Hold on, this needs to sharpen. I look crazy, it's gonna come together, I promise. Listen, I am no artist, but we are working on depth and layering here. Supernatural and contour are my favorite kind of contoury lip liner pencils if you're my skin tone. If you have a deeper skin tone, I think you'll like ground control. Okay, I'm blending these into one another, and I'm even putting this Supernatural over. But you see how there's a little bit of the depth still? That's gonna help with making the lips look more plump. I have a zit here, and it's super annoying. It makes my lipstick look messed up. The lipstick that I'm using today, this is one that is available that maybe I would hold off on. This is Peep Show. It's one of the lighter, peachier tones. A little bit more pinky than I would prefer, but we're gonna go with it gonna reestablish some depth. I'm applying Supernatural over again. I'm gonna blend them together. And then finally, lip glosses. And I have a plethora of glosses to choose from. I want something a little bit more warm to warm up with the eyes. So let me see what I have. This might be fun, right? Or do I want something gold? We want gold. <laughs> It's a little dusty. So this is a lip gloss in Blitz Gold. Oh, it's gonna be perfect for this look. I love Pat McGrath lip glosses. They are my all-time favorite lip gloss formula, so I recommend them. Mm, yeah, that's so pretty. Even though it looks a little crazy, it warmed up that lip, and it really does go with what we have going on here. Stunning! Okay, so let me get myself together, and I will show you the final look. Ooh, taking a step out with my shirt. I'm into this look. For a moment there, I didn't know where I was going with this eyeshadow, but I'm glad it went here. <laughs> so here's the final look at using some Pat McGrath products in celebration of her sale. And of course, to hopefully give you some inspiration. That's why I do this, to inspire you. If you do decide to shop through the sale, I will have everything that I use linked down below. If you do shop through them, I do get a small commission, which does help me out, help my channel out, help me pay my bills. So it would be much appreciated. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful for the first hour after this video is posted i will be sitting in the comments answering questions that you have anything about that talk about the sale whatever you want so if you're in here for the first hour let's chat i will see you all in the next one bye guys have a good one